and working with that and with, with filling a, a room with, with sound or, as I also said, with um, triggering memories or transporting people in some way to, to somewhere else, either another place or another time. Putting a microphone, a small microphone here inside, I can hear this kind of ringing sound from inside inside the urn. So, listening back to that sound, it's quite musical. It becomes um, like a, a tone, like like a ringing sound. So I've actually then put a speaker inside an object, and then repeated the cycle of playing the sound and recording it, and then playing that sound and recording it again. To, to process the sound, not electronically, but acoustically. The thing that uh, I think attracts me to, um, to using sound as a material um, is the fact that it's, it's quite physical, that like you can feel sound in a space, but you can't touch it. Um, so you can actually make things quite um, quite physical. Like you can feel the sound in, in some ways, um, or you can even you know it can be really piercing and, and really unbearable. But you can't actually touch it, or you can't you can't stop it. 